so many universities waving off the GRE. Should you take the test? Are there any good universities that don't require the GRE? So much confusion, right? What does waved off even mean? I'm sure you have this question. Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you which universities don't require the GRE at all, which ones prefer the GRE, and the best part, we're going to do it program-wise. So stay tuned for more great information. <laughs> All right, so let us start off with a well-researched list of universities where the GRE is waived off, optional or not required. We are going to do this program-wise as I mentioned earlier. But before that, there are some very important terms that you have to understand. So please watch this very carefully. If in our list it is written that the GRE is required, then it is obvious. They will not consider or even look at your application if you do not submit a GRE score. If in the list it states that the GRE is optional, it means that they will consider your application and you might be able to get into the program without submitting a GRE score. But it is preferred that you have one because it will give you an advantage in the application. If in the list that we put out, it says that the GRE is not required, then even if you submit a score, it will not be considered in the admission decision and therefore there is no use submitting it. You can confidently apply there without a test score. All right, so like I promised, here are the names of universities program-wise, which have different requirements for the GRE. We will be covering computer science, engineering management, management and information systems, which are the most popular degrees that Indian students apply to. Now, of course, if you are exploring other programs using the link in the description you can click on the other tab in the sheet that we provided and the information will be given for other programs as well now if you still want the requirements for a different program that you do not find in our sheets you can comment below and we will curate one for you so considering all this information that you processed looking at the names of the universities on our screen looking at the sheets that we provided you should you write the GRE or not you will find that there are very few good universities where the GRE is completely not required. Therefore, if you're not submitting a score, you're limiting your options. This won't work well for you, especially if the rest of your profile is good, such as your GPA, your projects, your internships, or your work experience. Even in cases where the GRE is optional, we've seen with a lot of cases in the last couple of years since COVID, that people with test scores have been preferred even in universities where the test is optional. Therefore, the only place where you have no disadvantage without a GRE score is the limited number of universities where it is not required. Also, please understand that the GRE is not the most important part of your application. If you get a bare minimum score, for some universities that could be even as low as a 305, the rest of your profile is far more important and will carry you through to an acceptance. Therefore, you are preventing yourself from applying to a university that you might get into just because the basic requirement is not there. We would still strongly recommend that you give it an attempt because it opens up a whole world of opportunities for you. Now, you might also be wondering if the universities that have GRE as optional or not required, are they even good, right? Well, we've solved that problem for you. The list that we've curated has only very good, very well-reputed universities that will most likely get you a job after you graduate and their test requirements. And you'll find plenty of options which have GRE as optional and not required as well. Now we will keep updating the links in our description. So keep checking back in this video and please share it with as many friends as possible so that it will help them out. They'll be saved from all the misinformation out there. Of course, if you like this content and all of the other videos that we put out, be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel.